Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. Now, I've been letting everybody know I have this series coming up. It's going to be a live event, how to read oracle cards. It's going to be three sessions. The first is beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So if you'd like to join that, I'm also probably going to sneak in a couple of other lives. <laughs> Check out the description box for all of that information. If you want to get a personal reading, uh, people have been saying, oh, you don't offer love readings, you don't offer this, you don't offer that. You're just booking the time amount, right? So you go in there, if you want 30 minutes, an hour, hour and a half, just put that in there. And then in the submission form, that's where you put whether you want the love reading, career, what have you, okay? All right, so we have amethyst. Amethyst is great for everything, okay? <laughs> it helps you heal, it's protective, it, it opens up your awareness, your consciousness. It is associated with Archangel Raphael, which is surprising to a lot of people because it's purple. I didn't make the rules, okay? This is meditation. So when we talk about, especially when a meditation card comes up, this is definitely telling us that we need to disconnect a little bit from the day-to-day -day intellectual ego hits that we keep getting, right? <laughs> and not be caught up in the drama of whatever is unfolding. So yes, there's going to be turmoil. Yes, there are going to be things that are occurring that are unfair, unjust. Be in your meditative state, connect into the heart space, and cleanse your energy. Allow that healing to occur. Why? It strengthens you. It strengthens you. I have been doing spiritual practice for decades and how I would have responded to something when I was a teenager I guess <laughs> but also into my 20s definitely not how I respond to things now and you might say well yeah that comes with age I've seen plenty of people my age get unhinged about things that they could have probably just worked through if they could keep their cool you know what I'm saying so I don't respond to um the threats out in the world the way I would have. I don't respond with the same amount of fear that I would have, all right? And that's the beauty of amethyst and of course the beauty of your spiritual practice. So don't skip it, okay? <laughs> it's like brushing your teeth, you gotta do it. All right, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.